Hey guys, I didn't really want to do this in the car, but that seems to be the only place I have time and the ability to videotape <laughs> is in the car. So I'm waiting on somebody. I'm picking up some Christmas ornaments from somebody that I found on Facebook. So I'm waiting on them. So I thought I would just start talking about infertility. Um, you know, it was a subject for 16 years in our lives and our marriage. And um, I didn't really realize it to be like a, such a hot topic. All the years that we struggled emotionally, um, but it was. And so now, in retrospect, I'm looking back at it and, and thinking, how can I encourage someone else who has dealt with infertility? Um, how can I bring hope to somebody else? And I really feel like that's why I want to do this video, is just to bring hope to someone who thinks that it will never happen for them. Uh, me and my husband were married in 2000 and... 2000? In March of 2000 and so um, we struck we went to college in our 30s we got our degrees and um, we're pastors and so we pastored in Michigan for seven years um, and then a uh, youth pastored and, and pastored before that as well but it was in Michigan last year we had been married for 16 years and um, you know in 2013 we adopted a 13 year old yeah, 13 year old. Um, after 13 years of infertility, um, we adopted a 13 year old and um, just really had kind of come to grips with the fact that we were not going to have a baby. Um, you know, we spent years by ourselves. Um, let me give him some more food. Okay. Mm. You know, in our 20s and our 30s, most of our 30s, um, we, we just had us and, and we kind of did it backwards because, you know, even though we couldn't have a baby, uh, and couldn't conceive, we, um, we did things we wanted to do. We went on vacations. We went on weekend trips. We went, did what we wanted to do. We loved coffee. We loved coffee shops. And so we had all that free time, um, you know, all those years and just kind of really kind of figured that's the way it would be. We always wanted to adopt. We knew we couldn't have kids, so we always wanted to adopt. But um, was really just too busy to go through the classes and get certified and all that stuff. So it really wasn't until we moved to Michigan that we started that process with Bethany Christian Services. And it was a good process. They made it really easy for us. We never had a dime out of pocket. Um, we signed up to be foster care parents because we were really afraid that we couldn't adopt financially, that we wouldn't be able to afford it. And um, so we figured we'd go through foster care because we knew we'd have their financial support. And so it was in 2013 that we um, got certified to be foster parents. And our daughter Chelsea was um, our first foster child. And um, she was only supposed to be with us for a few weeks. And we got a phone call after a couple of days that the adoption that was pending didn't go through and, and they had backed out of it. And so they were, we were asked if we wanted to keep her. And we of course said yes. Um, she was a perfect fit for our family. And, we're, and, and after that, we just really felt like our family was complete. You know, this is the way God designed it, is we couldn't conceive. And we, you know, we're going to raise Chelsea, finish raising Chelsea. She was already, already a teenager, which didn't intimidate us at all. Um, you know, we had been youth pastors, and we were older anyway. We were in our, you know, almost in the 40s. And so, um, we had Chelsea for four, almost four years. No, 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 no. Yes. It was almost four years last May <laughs> when I had, um, for the last, few the last few months, I had been having a lot of nausea, um, different things going on, and my husband kept saying, you need to take a pregnancy test, and I was like, no, I'm not picking, taking a pregnancy test. I've taken so many pregnancy tests in the last 16 years, I'm not taking a pregnancy test. And finally, I bought one, I bought a pack, and... Um, we celebrated my 41st and his 42nd birthday on Tuesday night, and on Wednesday morning, um, I took a pregnancy test, and I was pregnant. I, and little did I know, I was actually already three months pregnant. And so, it was a whirlwind of emotions. It was a whirlwind year. Um, it was an amazing pregnancy. It was an amazing experience. And I think it was amazing because I just never thought I'd get to experience it. And so, um, just I mean, there's just so many details I could tell you, but I don't have time for it. Um, I will say, looking back at our infertility years, we did not have any medical testing done to find out why we could not conceive. We, we, were, we never had the money. 
um, or the resources or the insurance or anything like that to pursue it medically. You know, in vitro wasn't an option. None of that was an option for us. Financially, we just it just wasn't an option. We just put it in God's hands. And if it was God's will for us to get pregnant, we knew that we would. And we just never did. Um, but looking back over those 16 years, and mainly the first 13, because when we got Chelsea, we kind of just kind of resolved, I think, that that was our family. Um, that's the way our family was going to look, was, you know, a, 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 an older child that really, she was the age that we would have been when we had, you know, when we got married, if we got pregnant, she was about that age. So it was just perfect. And so, but looking back over those years, it was just hard. I've, I've had many breakdowns. Um, you know, we, we've had friends who've had kids and struggled and thinking, you know, what would it be like if we had a baby? And, um, you know, even though we loved Chelsea, you know, and loved her so much, it just was what is it like to have a baby and raise him from birth? You know, and we were never given that opportunity. And I actually thought, um, you know, I, I, I couldn't stand Mother's Day. I mean, it was like I couldn't stand it. I was happy for mothers, but it was always such kind of a down day. I felt, I honestly felt like I was, I was broken. Like I didn't work because I couldn't conceive. I think most of the years I felt like something was wrong with me. It really wasn't that I wanted a baby as much as the fact I wanted the chance to do it like every other woman had. And I think that's really what I struggled with through the years was this incompleteness. Like, like my body was broken and I somehow couldn't do what every woman was supposed to do. So it was a lot of really hard years. But I want to bring hope that it was 16 years for us before we conceived. And we were, we were 40s, in our 40s. And I just want to bring hope to you. If you've lost hope please don't because when you least expect it, <laughs> it can happen. And so that's kind of how it worked for us. I just hope that this video kind of helps you and encourages you if you struggle with infertility. Um, if you have any questions, you can give me a message below. You can inbox me. Um, I'm more than willing to share any information about um, details that you might want or, um, you know, our story. So don't hesitate to send me a message or leave a comment on this video. I'm more than willing to share that information. It would take forever to give you every single detail. But anyway, um, you know, don't lose hope. It happens when you least expect it. I didn't expect it at all, but it's been such a blessing. And there he is. <laughs> but he's such a blessing to us, and we thank God for him every day. And we love our family. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.